Hi there, it is Naomi here and I am delighted to be bringing you this video which primarily focuses on finding a way of grounding and settling our systems before embarking on a deeper practice of awareness around what's going on for us to do with food and body image that may be blocking us or hindering us from finding the freedom in that area that we're really seeking. So this video comes as a, by special request from some of the women that I work with in the group coaching programs that I do called Your Food Freedom Steps. And there is a special request there because there's an acknowledgement that it can be really difficult to drop into a place of deeper awareness around what's happening for us in our food and body image lives. Um, when we're kind of caught up in the busyness of our lives and our whirling minds can get in the way. So this really is useful for just being a kind of standalone practice to help us find a bit more peace in our day, but also really specially as like an introduction to um, like what might be going on for us, um, a way of grounding ourselves in our bodies that prepares for the journaling exercises that are to come. So I'm going to be introducing two different types of breath in this video, so really choose what speaks for you. One of the types is a bit more relaxed that I'm going to be starting off with and then I'll go over to a slightly more structured breathing practice. So this slightly more relaxed one is something I've heard described as ocean breath and I find it really, really helpful. I use this breath regularly and it's a bit noisy so you may want to do it on your own and it may be not in a cafe or in public and really take some quiet time to yourself and start off the breath with uh, a deep breath in and then in the out breath let it be a little bit noisy so you may sound like a purring cat I think I did just then and then close your mouth and this time do the same breath but keep your mouth closed this time so And then breathe in and out naturally, not worrying too much about the pace or the length of your breath, but really keeping the breath kind of quite noisy. Deep breaths in and out. And you may wish to say to yourself while you're doing this ocean breath an affirmation like I release and let go. I release and let go. To help me with this releasing and letting go I sometimes imagine an actual ocean in front of me and a little boat going along the horizon and even if, particularly on a difficult day, I even like to put just all my worries, all my feelings of being burdened by the world or anxieties I might have or things that I'm distracted by, I just kind of put them on that boat and just trust that that boat is strong enough that it, it that won't sink, it can keep and it can carry all my worries. And then even as I'm doing this breath, I might notice in my mind's eye this ocean and this boat going by and just let the boat leave my line of sight, just let it sail away, taking with it all my worries as I release and let go. I've heard this described as the Darth Vader breath. So let it be noisy, not too noisy, but just audible. And I'd suggest doing this for the whole practice, the whole 10 minute practice. And if you find your mind wandering, just picture that little boat. You can put any thoughts that are distracting you on that boat, in that beautiful ocean that you have in front of you. So that's the first breath, the ocean breath. The second breath is a bit more structured and I'm gonna tap along so that you know what the structure is, but in your own uh, practice of this breath, you don't need to clap like this. You can actually tap your knee or even just with one finger tap along. Um, it, 
doesn't even need to make a sound. I'm going to tap with my hands. And this is called the four, seven, eight breath. So four breaths in. And out just to get started. And then I'm going to, I'm going to actually breathe along with the rhythm of my clapping. So four breaths in along with this rhythm. One, two, three, four. And then hold for seven. And out for eight. And again, four in. And then hold for seven. And then out for eight. And then in for four. And then hold for seven. And then out for eight. And you may wish to go a bit slower than that. In for four. Hold for seven. And then out for eight. So practice with both these breaths, practice with your own pace of clapping if you're going for the four, seven, eight breath. And don't worry too much about um, your wandering mind, that will happen. Just keep coming back to the breath and really take this time to allow your body to be just totally oxygenated and beautifully grounded in your body. The breath can really do that. Um, really enjoy these practices and let me know how they landed with you, how they helped perhaps as a preparation for some of the um, journaling exercises that I'll be giving you and if you, you're not on a coaching program with me then reach out and ask about those journaling practices I can give you some hints to get started or go to my website and download the free guide there that can also give you some hints and tips about what could be um, useful to explore for you if you're just getting started with the food freedom process and um, yeah enjoy the breathing just go for it and take that time take that space for yourself as a really helpful grounding in your process of food freedom.